welcome back to my channel. For today we are talking about all of the fall things. We're gonna talk about the ultimate top 10 fall bucket list. Now I made this video last year. We have upgraded our life, added some new things. I'm gonna talk about stuff that we did last year that we did better this year. So hopefully you can kind of learn from my mistakes. And we're already slaying fall. So I'm gonna share all of the fun activities that we've already done. And we're gonna just get into all of the fall cozy vibes. So if that's something you wanna see, then just keep watching. Okay, first things first is fall apple picking. Now last year, we failed miserably at this. We went, Andre and I went to an apple orchard last year and I really, really wanted to go apple picking, but we went way too late in the season and we went way too much into the city. We didn't go out into the country. So I did a little bit of research this year and I asked around and we ended up going to mountain apple orchards in Ottawa, Canada, but it wasn't really in the in the core. Like Andre and I pretty much live in Centertown in Ottawa, Canada. We went out into the country. So we grabbed a Starbucks pumpkin spice latte, of course. And it was like the ultimate fall day. It was so beautiful, so perfect, but we went far out and we went way earlier in the season. So go as soon as you possibly can and go to an actual farm, not one in the city. I, we still went to a farm last year. It just really wasn't as good. And there was bees everywhere and it was not, it was not fabulous. This was fabulous. They were so accommodating. They were also so pleasant. And can I just say, I love operations that will not assume that you know everything whenever you arrive. Andre and I have dealt with this lately where you arrive somewhere like a farm and you don't know where to go and they just assume that you know everything. They were so nice and they showed us exactly where to go. There was hay rides, there was a corn maze. Of course there was apples. There was all, there was three different types of apples to be picked that day and we broke a few rules and like went into some areas that we were supposed to and we didn't realize um, because we wanted what kind of apple? I think Macintosh, I don't remember. Andre used to be a food buyer, so he has very strong opinions on which apples we should be buying. So we just got a little bag of apples. It's like as many as you can fit into the bag. It was super fun. Um, it was a beautiful day. We started out in like sweaters and then it ended up being really warm. They had ladders that you could cl climb to the top and get your apple. It was very picturesque and very beautiful. It was just such a nice day. But listen, this apple orchard had donuts. And I'm not even going to mince words here when I was told this apple orchard had like the best donuts ever, and that's kind of what they're known for. I was like, well, a search is over. This is where I'm going. The donuts did not disappoint. I shared it on my stories. We ended up having donuts for breakfast. The best donuts, other than Disney World, that I have ever had. So freaking good out of this world. And then I brought the apples home and we baked and we did all of the things and it was super, super fun. I made like an amazing crock pot recipe. I feel like I should share it with you guys. I'll just give you the, the ingredients for it. It was really simple. It basically was some oats, a little bit of gluten-free flour, a little bit of brown sugar, maple syrup. It sounds very Canadian. Uh, lots of apples. I cut up all the apples that I got and I put all in a crock pot with a ton of cinnamon, a little bit of cloves, some nutmeg. It was fabulous. Andre loved it. So that just kind of simmered and it was fantastic. So apple orchard, huge check, absolutely amazing. All right, next, I want to take the time to sit down this year and do an ultimate planning of my month. So obviously there's already so much planning that goes into this month with daily videos and now videos on my vlog channel. If you didn't hear, there are daily short videos on my vlog channel that is called The Daily Grind and it's really like motivation, inspiration for overhauling your life in 31 days. They go live every single day, they premiere at noon, it's like a fun thing, and it's also live on my podcast. So yes, this month took a lot of planning, but I also wanted to take the time to assess how I was feeling every day and really just track it kind of like I did last year. So last year I did a big plan with me and I shared my bullet journal and I found like a bunch of people that ended up loving bullet journals also on here. And you guys totally nerded out with me, which was so fun. And I just love sitting down, watching a good movie. I think last year I was watching Practical Magic, sat down in the living room, used all my fancy markers and just enjoyed mapping out my goals and my month and just how I was feeling and kind of tracking everything. So I definitely want to do that again with kind of tying in meditation. So we just added meditations to the fit gym and I'm implementing this in my daily routine. So I want to track that. So definitely a bullet journal is happening. That's number two. Number three, this is probably the most obvious one, but we needed to go to a pumpkin patch. We nailed it last year with the pumpkin patch. So we did the same pumpkin patch as last year. So we went to Miller's Farms, again, out in the country in Ottawa. And 
picked up a latte on the way, made a little morning out of it, and we went during the week. So a lot of these farms are open during the week, which was perfect. So grabbed a coffee, drove out into the country. We just got an SUV, so that was perfect timing. <laughs> brand new brand new car, I'm gonna put dirty pumpkins in the back seat. My husband was not happy, but he's a trooper, so it was super good. And I ended up getting some big flowers and I decorated the whole front porch with all of that. It was super fun. So that was really, like, I know that on weekends and I think that they have, like, hay rides and stuff but we just really went for the pumpkins and they have all of these baked goods and things as well so again i really just went for the pumpkins and for the flowers it was great got all of the pumpkins that i needed for my front step i might be going to the grocery store and getting a little bit more and i wanted to give you a tip i shared this last year if you don't have a pumpkin patch near you and you want to take like some cute pictures or get some pumpkins just go to your local market like go to your either a farmer's market or go to the grocery store sometimes they'll set up a little area outside and honestly if you need a cute picture for the instagrams and i get it you can go take one there and people will probably not even notice that there are literally people you guys there are literally people that take pictures i've never done this i want to i think it's hilarious where they kind of like submerse themselves into the fake flowers of michael's and it looks like they're in a field it's freaking hilarious like i'm gonna find one i'm gonna i'm gonna put myself to task and try and find one but i'm gonna find one it's so funny all right number four we have to talk about movies now number one i have all of these listed on my pinterest so if you're not following on pinterest i do post on pinterest which is just you know somewhere else to hang around with me on the interwebs but i have a board for fall and on that board i created a halloween and fall movie list now to the amazing human that messaged me on instagram this was a long time ago and they said do you have any suggestions for movies that are like harvest style and they said i don't know if you know what i mean and i was like honey yeah i know what you mean my types of people. So here's how life works. I'm gonna get up on my soapbox. There are harvest and fall movies, and then there are Halloween movies. I do not watch Nightmare Before Christmas before I watch the fall harvest movies. I'm just saying. The best fall harvest movies, I think, are Hallmark movies, and this is what I wanna talk about. Talk about, um, can we all just have a moment? A lot of you guys did not know that Hallmark played movies throughout the year that were not Christmas. The, the Canadian knew that. We don't even have the Hallmark Channel here, so this is how much I love Hallmark movies. One, my husband can tell when I'm watching a Hallmark movie because I'm just in a better mood, apparently. He always knows, like, is that a Hallmark movie? I'm like, yes, it is. I love them. They're always, like, the same ending. They're always just so happy. So the way that a Canadian can get the Hallmark Channel, download Amazon Prime. I think an American person can do this, too, if you have Amazon Prime. And then there's this thing that you can get called Stack TV. It's like an app that you add on to add Amazon Prime. It'll give you television. So in Canada, we have something called the W Network. That is pretty much the Hallmark Channel. You're welcome. So I wanted to talk about a couple of my favorite Harvest movies. I would say The Blind Side is like an epic Harvest movie because it's all about like Thanksgiving and fall and football and like it's super cute. I freaking love it. Definitely watching that. Stepmom, although you probably will cry, amazing fall harvest movie. And let, let's just say, like, honestly, I really think that the best ones are Hallmark. Oh, and there's one that we can now add to the list. Frozen 2 is probably the, one of the greatest fall harvest movies. Now, let's talk Halloween movie list, and I'm probably going to update this. Hocus Pocus. Oh, I cannot wait for Hocus Pocus 2. Nightmare Before Christmas, Casper, Adam's Family, Adam's Family Values. Can I ask you a question? If you had to pick one, which one would it be? I feel like 90% of you are gonna say Hocus Pocus, but I know that some of you guys have very strong opinions also about Nightmare Before Christmas. Hocus Pocus, hands down for me, hands down. Casper, Adam's Family, Adam's Family Values, Beetlejuice, Hotel Transylvania, which is the underdog, but one of my favorite Halloween movies. Harry Potter, all of them. Halloween Town, Scooby-Doo, Gremlins, Ghostbusters, Goosebumps, The Craft, not kid-friendly, but enjoy. Edward Scissorhands, The Goonies, Matilda, Monster House, Monsters, Inc. Double, toil, double Double Toil and Trouble, Toy Story of Terror, Dark Shadows, Sleepy Hollow. That's on my Pinterest. You can go check it out and save it because you might need it. All right, let's keep going. Number five, we need to talk about books. We didn't talk about books last year and I'm re quickly realizing how quickly I'm speaking and I'm really sorry. I'm gonna slow it down. I'm just really excited. I didn't even have that much coffee today, I promise. I'm just pumped. So I wanted to do some spooky, creepy books to share with you guys. Now, I don't know who I've become. This was not me one year ago. I never, ever read fiction books as an adult. As a teenager, I used to read Christopher Pike books all the time, which are like scary teen books. If you have a teenager, you are a teenager. Great books, love them. So that's a suggestion, but listen. 
Let's go through these like spooky, scary books. First one I'm gonna say that I've read, it's amazing, The Guest List, it's at the cottage, finished it at the cottage, it's sitting over there, amazing book. Loved it and I love the way it was written, it's like all written. Each chapter is a different person, super good. Just started this, like literally like the first sentence. So if this is good, please tell me. The secrets you keep. I wanted them to all be spooky. The Last Mrs. Parish. I heard it's very good. I just bought this, The Family Upstairs. Don't ask me when I'm gonna find time to read all of these. And The Other Misses. And I feel like I had another one. I can't find it, I don't know. Delightful books. Okay, if you guys have suggestions for like spooky, spooky sexy is kind of how I describe it. Spooky sexy books, please share because I'm just, I'm all about cuddling up with a good book by the fire in my egg chair, my egg swig chair downstairs with a, with a cozy, Cozy Sherpa blanket. Oh my gosh, everything's been launched. We didn't even talk about this. All the stuff is launched. The pillows are up. I could finally film freely. I've been hiding everything forever. I have my, I have my freaking not so scary cuppy with me for so many stories uh, on my Instagram. I've been like trying to angle the camera so you guys can't see what's been laying around the house. All right, let's move on. Number six, decorating. So I am knee deep in decorating. I'm filming some decorate with me's. I have done a ton of hauls. I will link a couple down below. I will also share last year's videos. So on my channel, when you land on my channel, you'll see the most recent uploads. If you just go a little bit lower, there's 2019 not so scary and there's 2018 not so scary and 2017 not so scary. And you can see how far we've come. It's fascinating, but I always love a good decoration haul. I do not know how I'm gonna keep all the decorations this year. I have so many new decorations. Michael's just brought it this year. Absolutely amazing. Um, between the, all of the pillows and everything that we had for our own launch, which was absolutely wild. You guys are on another level. You guys love your decorations. So we did doormats, we had uh, we had tons of pillows, like four different sizes of pillows, Sherpa blankets, obviously apparel, cuppies, all of that. But one big thing I wanted to do this year was decorate outside also, like just kind of kick it up a notch. So I want to decorate our three season porch, which is currently getting renovated. So hopefully that can be done in time. If not, it'll be a winter thing that we decorate. So I just want to take it up a notch in terms of decorations. How you ask? I do not know. I guess we will find out. <laughs> Okay, number seven, I'm super excited about this one. This one's new on the list this year as well, a fall staycation. Now, considering the ways of the world, many vacations have been canceled. I have shared many times that ours have been canceled. I think I've canceled oh, three Disney trips this year. So it is what it is. But we did an epic staycation for my birthday at the beginning of fall, right, right, right at the beginning of, like, I don't even think it was technically fall yet. So we did an epic staycation at a wolf cabin and you guys went bananas bonkers on Instagram about it and wanted all the details. It's a spot in Canada, it's actually in Quebec, and we wanna go back. We are also taking another staycation. So right after we went to the Wolf Lodge, we went to what's called Chateau Montebello in Montebello, Quebec, and it was like this beautiful Fairmont hotel that you guys, it smells like the haunted mansion in the lobby. I am obsessed with it. There is nothing better on this planet than sitting and having a martini in that lobby obsessed. So there will be a video coming of just like a full staycation, but go on a staycation. It can bring you so much joy. Now I will say if it brings you more stress than joy to leave the house, then don't. But if you need to get the heck out of the house and you need like a little mini vacay, do a fall staycation, like take a drive, go. If you're somewhere where there's beautiful leaves, like I'm literally looking out the window right now and the trees are like bright orange. It's stunning. Like driving through the country in this is amazing. So we're going to go on another fall staycation. We're going to go to the Montebello castle again and enjoy the fall season in its full bloom probably there. And I would love to go back in the winter as well. I love a good staycation. So it's about 15 minutes from us. So that's perfect. So we're definitely doing that again. And I'm going to take you guys with us. Okay. Number eight, a Halloween party. Now I know what you're thinking, Angie, listen, I've shared this before. I feel like I have the utmost responsibility this year because Mickey's not so scary is non-existent. I got you. Now, if you want to live vicariously through last year, I have a video on last year's. I have not watched it because I, I just don't want to make myself sad by watching it. Actually, I might go watch it, but I'm throwing my own. So it's going to be a video coming up. We're going, I said that really, it's going to be a video coming up. I'm going to do Disney food, Disney cocktails, all the things. I'm wearing Disney ears. I have to, I bought a bunch of Halloween Mickey ears and now I have nowhere to wear them. So we're doing it. And I'm going to just share all of the Disney stuff with you guys. And we're going to do our own little mini, not so scary party. The other thing is I always do a video every single year on cocktails, like 
all different Halloween cocktails. I have two from previous years, 2019 and 2018. Go watch them, they're fabulous. Also because they're the least viewed videos, but I don't care. It's my favorite video to film. Do not worry, I don't drink all of it. I think the one that we did in 2018, Andre and I did a drinking game, which was hilarious. I just love sharing all the cocktails and how creative we get. It's absolutely amazing. Now, moving on. Number nine is actually like a fitness part and just a goal. It's more of a goal than a fall bucket list, but it's, it's so perfect for me and aligns perfectly with fall. I wanna start running. So I am starting a running program where I do like 15 to not even 20 minutes, like a little bit of weightlifting. And then you literally stop the workout, put in your headphones and go outside. The other option, and which I'm totally gonna do because I'm not only gonna run because I'm not a runner, but I do wanna run and just enjoy the weather. But on days where it's raining, I'm gonna hop on my bike. So the workout is literally programmed that you lift weights. As soon as it's done, it turns into an audio and then you can either hop on your bike because it'll track you on your bike or it'll track you on your run, which is so sweet. So I'm do that's a 30-day program it's in the fit gym it's launching i'm doing it with the girls in the fit gym and i just feel like it has all the fall feels so i'm really excited about it i used to run a lot and i haven't in a long time so we're gonna do it and we're gonna get shredded that's the goal operation get shredded operation get ripped operation get ripped okay number 10 our last and final item on the list which i am probably the most excited about we're building a fort just like the cocktail video, we have done a fort for the past couple of years. It is one of my favorite videos to film. I thoroughly enjoy it. Andre does not enjoy the cleanup because our house is in a disaster zone for the next two days, but I love it. I literally work from inside the fort the day after. Like I edit my videos from inside the fort. I answer emails from inside the fort. It's the greatest thing. And every year the fort gets better and better and better. So this year we're taking it up a notch for sure. I don't know what we're gonna do, but here's something that now a couple of you guys have said, which means the utmost world to me. I have received so many messages and emails from you guys saying that when you watch that video in particular, but different videos, that you feel like it's okay to be a big kid and to just enjoy the things that you otherwise might not have allowed yourself to do. And that you almost were like given permission to do that, so thank you. That's like the sweetest thing in the whole world. Like that literally means the world to me. And if you can just have fun and enjoy yourself and laugh and be happy, then I am a happy camper. So make the fort. This is my message to you, make the fort. You will be so happy. If you've got little ones, make it with the little ones. Listen, if you don't have little ones, invite your dog or just like hang out with your hubby or hang, heck, grab some popcorn, watch a good movie, grab a good book and enjoy your fort on your own. It's very pleasant and very secluded. And you know, maybe you don't want to invite anybody. It's honestly the greatest thing and one of the highlights of the fall and it's the ultimate cozy vibe situation. So I'm probably gonna start building mine like mid month, leave it up for a couple days. You know, I always say that I'm just gonna leave it up for a day and it always ends up staying up for like three days, but I wanna enjoy it during the day as well, not just at night to watch movies. I usually do it in the living room. There's just a lot that happens, but this year, listen, I'm equipped with more pillows this year, so I know that I can bring the heat. So I'm super excited. That is my top 10 fall to-do list. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you liked this video, definitely give it a thumbs up because I love seeing the thumbs up. Like seriously, go click the thumbs up because it just makes me so happy. Whenever I know that you guys love a video, I know to recreate it. Unless it's the cocktail video, then I'm like, we're doing it again because I just had too much fun. Make sure that you are subscribed, hit the bell for notifications so you don't miss any future videos. Make sure that you are following on Instagram as well and I will see you tomorrow. Bye dudes.